Ooh, what's up, what's up, guys? Tony Kirsten back on the stream. Today, guys, we're making a video on um, Lost Relics, and it's a full beginner's guide, so you guys can get into it and into all the important things that you need to know, my friends. Um, as this being a new game, it's an NFT game. For the uh, those of you guys that don't know, NFT games are non-fungible token games where every item in the game is yours, baby. Let's go. So um, we're actually pretty low level in this game, but we've gone in through some of the basics. I'm gonna go through everything that you guys need to know to be able to start off the game and pop it off hot. So um, other than that, we're gonna get right into it so you guys can get right popping and popping until we guys need to go over today's video. So starting right off, uh, to be able to move, the the way the game is set up with the left stick you're able to hold it and it will go into whatever direction you're wanting to aim in that aspect of it so as you know see right here right now i'm clicking on my left um left button on the mouse which lets me move as long as i hold it lets me move that's how you move um uh, for attacking powers um that is used with the left and the right during combat guys you have the option of using the left click for a single attack this is your regular attack nothing too powerful and the right click is used for a powerful attack my friends powerful attack is going to consume some of, some of your energy and blue far on the and deals extremely higher amount of damage when compared to single um attacks uh usually utilizing this is strongly recommended in order to complete the dungeons depending on which adventure levels you guys are doing and using these attacks depletes your energy down to zero eventually but energy of course if you guys don't know right here on the left side we have the health right side we have energy and no matter what level you are you will always be at the consisting 1500 energy um using the power attack like i said depletes it and, it and if it drops below 250 the energy will slowly regenerate back to 250 as you use regular attacks it is also highly recommended you guys to be aware that energy levels at this point um because they're just going to be dropping and you need these for critical monsters you want to kill having 250 energy available to win starting a fight will allow you guys to finish the fight more quickly without sustaining as much damage which is important guys because you guys don't want to die um a power attack with low energy is just a normal attack with a creature or two that can be killed with a power with um that will survive multiple normal attacks during the damage you're using so next thing we're going to go into i think i want to go ahead and show you guys what i'm talking about in battle just so you guys can know what i'm talking about um but so as you guys see this is the town hall the main spot you guys always want to be at is this place called the tavern which mo most of your stuff like bounties quest and all that stuff is in telling in there we will make another video on that but like i said right now i'm clicking the left button it's shifting me like that and oh let's go ahead um We'll, we'll go ahead and, and go over the things on the top of the screen you guys see on the left side we got this um power pendant if you activate it it gives you different types of boost depending on how long no matter how long you have it minus for a 30 day trial you can end up getting these for free usually you pay the 23 the 30 day one cost me about 23 30 dollars or so but as you go ahead along and buy them they will cost uh you can use gold coins which you earn in the game to be able to buy it off for free right now there's an easter event which does the reason there's purple eggs in the screen like that my friends so we're gonna go ahead and go to the ESES dungeon so you guys can go ahead and see what i'm talking about while we're on our way there in addition to when you're fighting if you use the shift button it allows you to keep the player in in one spot slash rooted which then um allows you to stay standing with this is very important technique in fact one of the one of the most important um as to the fact let's go to the forgotten chambers right now that we're in the screen we're, we're gonna go a bit over a bit of stuff right here there's resources that show you the type of stuff that you can get let me move my head uh, the type of stuff that you can get right here as you're playing the game game um with different types of level and difficulties you unlock different types of resources in the matches um in the bottom left you see this difficulty level um it goes anywhere from one to up to five difficulty which usually depends on the type of um are not armor but the type of weapon that you're going into war and also if you have any things to heal yourselves um with that said we're going to go ahead and go to the simplest dungeon to be able to show you a little fight um again and there is also entry restrictions if you see this in the bottom of the screen as you said entry restriction uh, rarity restriction you can only go into forgotten chambers with a common or uncommon type of um like weapon to say anything that's higher than that will not allow you to enter these types of levels um Another thing that's really important with Lost Relics is that unless you have a blockchain item, which is considered a non-fungible item, those items will be destroyed 
it will be discouraged, excuse me, if those items, if you lose within one of these dungeons. I ended up dying recently, thus I lost all my things. But if you end up getting a blockchain blockchain item, those items will stay in your um, wallet. So right here, we changed over to the Bard's Boat. I wanna go ahead and show you the shift control I was talking about. So if I go ahead and click this shift, I'm right now, so left button, if you guys see, I'm using left button, it hits for 72, that's my regular attack. But we move over here, I use my rep button, it's hitting three three bows for 99, which is extremely powerful. As you guys see in the bottom screen, it took about 100 and something energy for me shooting with the right bow, uh, right click, which is a power attack. But you guys can see it does multiple 90s attacks, 398s, which is insane damage for these types of encounters, my friends. Again, right here we have a little item that was dropped, which is um, Skulk Silk, which is a destructible item. It's not an NFT. If you find an item that is an NFT, it will tell you, like my um, dragon right here, if I, let's see. It doesn't show, but it'll say non-destructible, meaning you die, and no matter how many times you die, you will keep that item. And as you guys saw right there, I was using the shift technique. Um, I'll go ahead and show you one more time. And the shift te technique allows you guys, like I was saying, um, to stay in one place and, and in case you miss the click on the monster uh, on the ground next to the creature, especially because if they're in motion around we start moving in an unexpected direction, in that case, the player will be moved where the click has occurred. You click on the wrong uh, position. But if I look, let's say I, I click right here, I clicked it wrong and, it, and it, it went towards him. Let me try it again. I'm shooting, click the wrong thing. But if I shift click like that, he doesn't move. He stays in one spot, which is extremely crucial. Extremely, extremely crucial. We have a little frog behind us. Let's kill it. And I would really, really recommend you guys be using the um, bow for whenever you guys are playing uh, these types of matches. Uh, with that, uh, we have, again, we have gone over the, the, um, the shift technique, which is used. Next, we're going to have... Um, screen rotation it is very possible guys for you guys to rotate the screen i fix my um my bindings to be a and s that's just for me there's different bindings um in the game itself so we go over here to settings i believe i don't think i can switch them right now i can um control uh there's going to be some other ones right here this is how you rotate your bindings for camera mine is a and s so you guys want to copy that but there is a preset already made for when you start the game i would recommend you guys to use that um, ans um, and they can be mapped um right where i showed you weapon switch can also be mapped to an extra weapon which would be w uh, perhaps the space bar if it's easier with the shift guys next we're going to go into rooms the description about the rooms guys occasionally the player will come across a room with a large boulder let's see if we get one in the match um, in order to get past the boulder player needs to repeatedly attack it with the sword or um, after a while you will also um, be able to get a bomb and the bomb kills this type of monster almost immediately which is pretty good for us pretty good for us i would say here we killed all these monsters and we should be getting a reward do you get a reward mm. i don't see no reward this time around um these places are usually guarded either by a, a rear which is a type of monster a rune and lastly by ogum which is the strongest of the monsters um however it's based on the number of hits they hit it the player saves energy before each hit with the right button like i showed um you'll be able to get get rid of the boulder easier my friend next are going to be breakables breakables are items in the ventures that are breakable these are like the highlights when covering over a mouse item attack them to break them over they sometimes make them take older items hit them all and you can miss out on a rare, rare relic which is very important if you end up getting yourself a real a little monster like this like the one i have a little dragon it will the pet are really great because they'll go around and break the break breakables for you meaning that you should not be missing all these breakables meaning more money more loot more of this gold so you can buy items exiting an adventure is very important guys for yes to survive to the end you should find the exit portal should you not do this before the end of the game you will lose all the experience and everything you've earned anything from gold resources and items you find along the um the screen such as green weapons relics food potions everything blockchain items will not, will not be lost like i said earlier if you own them before starting the venture if it was found in the venture it will be lost which is really really unfortunate especially the fact that um they're really hard to get we are here we have to be careful with fire we'll be careful with fire because it burns you um let's kill some of these real quick 
kill these okay we killed another item raw grunt meat all these are non non blockchain items um you can also do quest repeating until you earned enough gold coins to buy a virtual weapon and relic from the general store which we'll go over right now um you may also be limited to one blockchain item out of dungeons unless you're a member like that membership that i showed you on the top of the screen my friends that membership is very crucial very very crucial um once you obtain some gold you do have the option of creating your own bread and etc to be able to heal um and once you're comfortable guys um, with combat mechanics and something more difficult you can level up to next types of level of dungeons like the arcane pits or the ashwoods um, the first um, time through the arcane or ashwood can be easier than other times due to random nature of random regeneration and monster population so until you become familiar uh, with the different types of ambushes i would say to be uh, to begin the, the dungeon um, with common weapons to just be able to be not lose all these items like the way i did um, there has been a patch now called once in, so once in one we can no longer use the chat until the quest to unlock bottlings has been completed which i just unlocked and you guys can see there is the chat for me on the bottom left of the screen and you can see all the people in the game that are chatting in different chat channels right now they're mostly talking about the gold event let's go ahead and close that just wanted to show you that um some of the items required can be purchased in the royal emporium which is like the trade store inside of the game um what else and then we keep going what am i getting shot by oh uh i'm really not paying attention to shooting um that's about it for that okay so there's different types of adventures so um for different types of adventures there's currently eight different adventure stages four of them are oh let's kill these real quick right stick um four of them are dungeon types of adventures four iron chambers arcane pits all caverns and mount alcapath in um each dungeon type of adventure you need to carry a pickaxe with you which you will use to mine um resources i don't have one again because i died and i'm just using the video so you guys can see um the types of monsters and the way the little dungeon is made but um you you won't need a pickaxe um you can instead of crafting to get an emporium but it's really up to you my friends to be able to do that um three three of the different vendors are forests which um i think i showed you i didn't show you earlier um let's see can, let's see if we can just run through this let's run through it um and one of them is a desert type which i think is one of the higher ones okay so let's get a little bit back shift right button i think i might die let's let's go this this boom see how my my green weapon does a lot more damage there's one of the rocks that i was saying for mining if i had a pickaxe i would be able to do it but i do not have it equipped with me um let's see there's so many little monsters guys we're mostly just killing them for the xp okay uh, loadout so the character loadout guys uh, consists of two weapon slots as you see right here on uh, one per slot one tool uh, and four relic items um, which are on the right side you can lock um, well now it's five your inventory has 16 slots can be used to carry extra consumables and stuff like the way you see it in the bottom uh, blockchain items carried into adventure does not count for this rule and are not able to be dropped within the adventure for example you want to drop an item you right click the item it drops it and click it again it's back on your slot ish um, no more than one um, of each effect item may be equipped on each time meaning they cannot equip more multiples of different um types of uh items let's keep going I'm almost dead i really want to get out of here so you guys can see what um what different adventures that i was talking about earlier are like boom oh egg so there we have a, a, a an egg eggs are what what is the main thing of this um of this event right now let's get the egg and with the egg you're able to earn um different types of uh with the possibility to get a ticket and get a blockchain item um that's the main thing about it right now about the pop of egg we got pop of egg so oh we got a little bit burn damage right there let's go through up here oh my gosh boom boom i don't even know if i can survive this so much damage nothing good let's keep going we just want to get to exit now we're at 690 life skip oh we're at the exit all right cool oh do not miss the chest okay boom boom right click i'm using right click ability just because of the fact that i'm dying especially since i went unprepared to this, this dungeon but cool thing we survived it um next again we'll open an egg so you guys can see what the egg is all about um the combat level and life skills your combat level is shown on the top of the screen you see it right here let's claim 
this so we can get bounty bucks remember to do all your daily quest guys um your life uh your life skill levels are shown in um when you move your mouse to the xp bar and pressing the recipe book which is this right here as you guys can see if i click it it shows you all my different levels for fishing and then it shows you what is unlocked as you level up your different levels fishing you unlock by fishing mining of course by um, breaking up the rocks with the pickaxe scavenging by using um these gloves by um scavenging different items wood cutting by using uh hatchet by breaking trees alchemy by crafting different types of items cooking by cooking um different types of fish and items in the in the fire engineering of course is made by getting these items and engineering different types of utility items as well tools have um a grade and each grade um have a requirement to be able to equip to equip it for example common tools can be equipped from skill level one as you guys can see again if i open the book common tools for example this common tool crude fishnet can be equipped number one uncommon tools which are green i believe uh like this one well like you see right there mining level 10 will be unlocked at number 10 rare tools which are blue will be unlocked at level do we have any rare come on right here like the hatchets unlocked level 25 and last but not least legendary will be unlocked at level 40 of the skill class that you guys are using so make sure to be wary of that as well it's recommended for you to buy common tools at the emporium when you start playing the game try to put it at a buy offer of 100 or less and remember to claim the item and listing so it can go to your stash so let's go ahead and do that in the emporium so you guys can see what i'm talking about very 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 important that you guys make sure you guys do this correctly or else you will not be claiming any of this stuff and that's very detrimental my friends so as we're seeing right here again uh, um, for if you guys forgot already i'm holding the left button on uh, the le left bump um, button on the mouse and it's moving me around as i'm moving it on the screen and we just got here to the emporium which you um once you lock it you come to this man right here click it and you can buy whatever you want we go to weapons or i think it's tools yeah let's get to tools we get a hatchet right now hatchet is going for 76 i'm gonna buy one since i don't have any buy and then you collect it right here like i stated earlier um blockchain items are items that like i said earlier that are ethereum blockchain these items can be collected from enemies chests high level resource nodes um right now they're the the creator of the game is trying to put more into the blockchain slowly just because of the gas fees but there is going to be different types of things coming out along that will reduce gas fees to zero thus allowing him to be posting items practically non-stop or not non-stop but more frequently so there's more items into the game um they also be traded on the ngix uh, ngix or open c uh, protocol guys um we also have the map guys I, we haven't gone over the map yet so let's go ahead and go right here to the map my friends if we go right here to the map we open it up real quick there's different types of things that you you will see you'll see the stove right here on the on the right side which is to be able to cook things their emporium is the trading shop for the whole game we got the tavern which is um the main spot where you get bounties and different quests from the from the um characters yeah alchemy table on the bottom left right here itself we got a well which gets you a level of water get a canteen we got the easter bunny which is doing the event right now general store which i wouldn't recommend other than getting teleportation portals which are used for emergency situations uh, we got the graveyard if you die you'll get sponsored graveyard and then we got the engineering bench that will be able to, for you to be able to craft different types of um sorry for that part right there let me go over put the map again yes oh, i can't see right there well we come right here there's a teleportation scroll we're actually gonna buy one since we died um last time so we're gonna buy it for a thousand they're pretty expensive but um it gets you out of trouble my friends so what else yeah so we engineer bench and then easter bunny for those of you that haven't seen the easter bunny yet let's go ahead and show you guys that real quick we're gonna open an egg for you guys hopefully we pull something good but um there's only i believe four days left the 17th is the last day for the easter bunny so any of the eggs that you guys collect do not use will be either saved till next year or um hopefully not destroyed but that's what my knowledge is currently about the easter bunny we're here at the easter bunny you have different items that he's selling of course um oh there's no more weapons left that sucks there's only photonic incubators um uh, which all that drops an egg when activated the egg heals you for 1200 when walked over 
that's insane you can use it five times for adventure that is absolutely phenomenal that incubator is insane and will get you out of a lot of trouble i personally would want one in my um my um my backpack or whatever we got bunny badgers we got some carly's hakumas um and all these i believe are um blockchain yes these are all blockchain items as well that you get from the purple eggs so make sure to collect your purple eggs as well so you can get these different types of creatures in um cosmetic items in the game there's also golden goddess is this is blockchain no no it's virtual that sucks um yeah the these are all virtual virtual so only good ones are the pets which is a hakuma um 17 remaining 1700 1700 and the bunny sold out that's pretty cool so with that said we're done with that portion of it um we went over the maps mm what else well like i said for the membership which is the uh, one right here members will be able to take out more than one blockchain item among other perks including gifts for each level a daily um a color in-game username like the one that i have when i type which is yellow i believe hello yeah yellow if you're a member and um, people that are not members are great and then blue is part of a title from the easter bunny event um to purchase membership permanent, you need you, you can buy it from the Lost Relics website using a strange dollar United uh, USD uh, Ethereum on our engine, or buy it in game from other players. Like I said in the in the um in the emporium and last and not least for now um we have the patch 170 the game um plays true to his name um it hunts and this is lost relics guys we will be doing another more intense uh user guide for specific things um for tomorrow's video so don't forget and stay tuned for that um if there's anything that you guys think that i missed go ahead and comment down below in the chat um saying what you guys want me to make for the next video in more specific detail other than that i thank you guys for staying to today's video we have we're gonna have a lot more lost relics live streams and videos coming on hot baby so stay tuned for that and other than that i thank you guys for staying to today's video and we'll see you guys till next time guys deuces